Yeah, that is on another level. It's so complex. There are several different notes that you had. It feels like I'm talking about wine. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Welcome to That High Couple, where we explore and discuss our passion for cannabis. On today's vlog, we are going to be covering our top five favorite streams of 2022. This is probably one of our most exciting videos to shoot in the entire year because we love just kind of looking back and kind of remembering all of our favorites while also doing a five strain flight. <laughs> hey, exactly, because we have managed to track down all of these favorite strains. We are going to try all of them here on camera and do a fun little end of the year sesh with you guys. Oh, uh, have you ever gone to your favorite restaurant and ordered all of your favorites on the menu? Because that's what it feels like right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, so let's dive into one of our favorite connoisseurs of California cannabis, Maven Genetics. Maven, yes, Maven just this year recently opened their flagship store. We got to tour it, we did some stories on Instagram, and one of our favorite strains for them was this Tropicana Cookies. Tropicana Cookies, listen, we're gonna start this list with a banger. How many different weed strains have you ever seen in your life that was this shade of purple? It's so purple. Yeah, and it smells like so good. It really has like a smell that matches how wild the color it is. I mean, yeah. it is so fruity. It almost smells like a fruit cup. I, I am a big fan of this strain. Let's, let's grind a little up and, and start this sesh off, shall we? Yeah. Look at that dark purple in there. It's, it's so crazy. crazy. It looks like the kind of like art sand that you would get at like a state fair. Like I feel like I'm about to fill up a bottle. Cheers, everybody. Uh, with some Tropicana cookies. Tropicana, Tropicana cookies. And just so many orange hairs on these nugs, like looks insane. And honestly, the hit matches it. It's uh. super, super smooth. It really does have a lot of that kind of fruity, but still dank flavor to it. What I noticed with this high when I would smoke this throughout the year was that like, it was a really good stony high to get you to focus on like one thing. Moving on to our number four pick, it should surprise no one that we're gonna be talking about Steezy. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. This is one of like the fastest growing brands I'd say in California. We remember like a time before Steezy and now it seems like they are everywhere in every shop. Like they have definitely taken over, yeah. which is which is not a bad thing because they are really good quality. Yeah, I was about to say the times in LA BS before Steezy because- <laughs> For this roundup, we have picked up Blue Burst, which is a hybrid. It is super fruity, it's that like sugary, sweet, really, really bright kind of smell. A little bit of citrus in there as well. Oh, I love that it is the sweet and the sour. Like yes, it really has little that notes like, of sour too, definitely. that orange tang note to it. I don't yes. know. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Blue burst. And yeah, the nugs look insane. They're yes. as frosted as so can come. Oh, <laughs> incredibly like... frosty. Yeah. So Ooh. let's uh, take a little nug of this and grind it up. Grind it up. I love we're taking any of our extra and like dumping it into this like fun little we'll container. We'll create a little salad bowl there. A little sea vault. Hey. Sea vault container. Shout out to them. But that way we have a fair tasting. I'm going to use a new bowl. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And then whatever's in the sea vault, that's going to be the best blend. That's exactly. <laughs> we'll have a nice little salad later. I love that, all right. Oh God, yeah, just that fresh ground up cannabis. Mm. Guys, if you ever need to know what the smell, any kind of strain, you just like, yeah, just grind it up. Those fresh terpenes That's just hit your nose. Exactly. This is a better smell than just the nugs itself in the jar because this has activated it and opened those terpenes up and everything. Here, I got greens last time. You want to start? Hey, nice. let's start it <laughs> off. Well, cheers everyone. This is Steezy's Blue Burst. Blue Burst. Oh, what a just like, what a treat. Feel like I'm in some kind of futuristic tasting bar. That's just like, okay, yes, sir. And how would you like your, your blue burst? <laughs> it's, it's very nice, very good. It instantly goes to your head. It's just a well-balanced high. Yes. It is something where you do kind of feel it like tip to toe. Yeah, okay, Steezy. Well, Steezy. Ooh, big, big fan of that. And mm -hmm. you know, before we move on to our top three uh, strains, I also want to give a big shout out. Bovita Packets, if you're looking to keep your best bud fresh, this is the only way to go. Yeah, Bovita. These are the easiest things in the world to use. It's literally just a humidifier packet that you just put inside your weed. Yeah. You don't need to open it, you don't need to cut it, you don't need to do anything. And basically when it gets hard, 
Right now it's very squishy. Yes. Um, when it just gets hard, you you replace it. We highly recommend going with Bovita's 10 pack. You get 10 of the 62% Bovita packets, which are the most popular packet because you can use them in a lot of different ways. One of the most common misconceptions when it comes to Bovita packets is that it's actually removing the smell of your cannabis when that couldn't be further from the truth. Forming a protective layer around the terpenes that then dissipates once you grind up your cannabis. You will notice that all of the smell is right back in there, fresh in the grind as soon as it's ground up. Let's move on to our number three, our top hey. three picks. Um, a, a cannabis brand that we have actually seen them grow in person, which is so exciting. Uh, this is Glasshouse Farm. Glasshouse Farms, this is their lilac diesel. This is a sativa dominant hybrid. Yes. I'm and ready, ready for a it, sativa. Yeah, it is <laughs> honestly one of our favorite sativas this year. Oh my God, the citrus on this diesel is insane. Look at these nugs. Love when we have Ooh. some eighths that really you can do the whole eighth in like three nugs, others that are in like a handful. This is one of the like, okay, you really yep. have like two or three mm. big nugs. This lilac diesel is what it is. It is sense of like floral mixed yeah. with a super kind of soury citrusy diesel. And this is one of yeah. those good productive, clean the house, yeah. get all your errands done, knock everything off your to-do list kind of highs for sure. A nice little bowl going here. Yeah, I still remember when we were touring their three acre, just indoor grow. Glass House Farms has a couple of different grows between Camarillo and Carpinteria. Uh, we've been lucky enough to tour a couple of them and I've actually seen lilac diesel growing and been able to smell the nugs themselves. So it yeah. is very cool when you can see it like actually on the farm and then smoke it in person. That is a little something extra, but like yeah. even without having that connection, we will vouch this is one of the best sativas we've smoked this year. That midway point, like, let's pump it up with the sativa. Super lemon haze. Oh God, yeah. That is so uniquely like bright and smooth and citrusy and very flavorful. Just very pleasant overall. Oh, yeah. Very enjoyable. Man, it's so good because I feel like anyone that's a fan of diesel, this is gonna be your new favorite flavor of it. Exactly. Like, Lilac diesel is definitely the new favorite diesel for sure. While we are on that, that just Ooh, while still got rolling. foot on the accelerator. Let's go, next one. Top two, one of my favorite brands in cannabis for years. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it shouldn't surprise too many people when I'm talking about Wonder Bread. Wonder Wonder Bread, yes. like there is, I mean, from from the packaging, from the quality, from mm -hmm. even just the, their storefront, like in Los Angeles, th there's nothing that they like really half-ass anything. Like it's so good. It's so true. Wonder Bread is like, it's it's one of those kind of hype brands, I feel like, but it deserves the hype around yes. it. Yes. Like. It's uh, popular for a reason. For a reason, like, it is top shelf quality, good in every way, kind of gets you high stuff. Yeah. Oh my God. So we've got Grapes of Wrath here. Grapes of Wrath, yes. Oh my I God. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of their strengths, but what I love is that it's not like they have like three dozen, like, you know, over a hundred strains. It's true. That they have it's a, a tight catalog. Tight catalog, which is so, cause they really are like, they're putting the time and care into it. Yeah, it's uh, it's also great with Wonder Bread. You know the genetics of these, of every single strain. So this is Grape Pie and Jet Fuel Gelato Ooh. crossed together. Like, I, I love, every single nug is almost like its own, and it's just a little rock star. <laughs> right, these are all so beautiful. You get a little bit of purple in there on some of them, definitely some orange hairs, almost like, yeah, yeasty kind of bread with mm -hmm. some fruity kind of notes to it, wow. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, everyone. Cheers to Wonder Bread that has ever tried it. Let us know in a comment below if you have tried Wonder Bread. What is, <laughs> let us know. Good Absolutely. Oh head. my God. Okay. Good Lord. Yeah, that is on another level. It's so complex. There are several different notes that you had. It feels like I'm talking about wine. It's so silly, but it really does like come to that. This is aggressively wonderful. <laughs> aggressively is... wonderful. That is the way to put it. It is, God. it fills your lungs with like, oh shit, you're smoking weed. So, so like, how do you top this? I was just about to say, what? How do you top this? What are we thinking? Right, if we're going in the Pokemon ring, what are we throwing up against Wonder Bread? I mean, I think Seth Rogen's house plant 
has outdone themselves with their latest Azores High strain. Azores High. <laughs> did, so, he, did he call us? Like, right? right? For those that don't know, the Azores are an archipelago chain of islands in Portugal in the yes. middle of the Atlantic that very few people have heard of. Not no one, no. but very few people have heard of. And he went and named a weed strain after a weather phenomenon that happens there called the Azores High. So weirdly, specifically mind-blowing to us. We went, oh yeah, I'm so high there. I didn't even go for, for well, why, why that's Oh, important. by the way, that's oh, where we went way, on our honeymoon. That's where we went on our honeymoon. That is why that's important. Oh my yeah. God, this is how stoned we are. So, so amazing. Um, Still we the best. love the Azores. We could talk about it all day. Please all day. just like, Type in hashtag Azores into Instagram and just just scroll yeah. and see how beautiful these islands are. I, I remember I'm on the, the Houseplay newsletter and I like got the Azores notification of this and I was like, you did what now, huh? So crazy. Okay, so like got it immediately. Yep. I love just like, even just like, come on, like Seth Rogen's whole, like the packaging is so, so different beautiful. than all the yeah. other previous ones that we've shown. Like he does this like, these, these stack on top of each other, these Lo different little Bovita containers. Bovita still fits perfectly down in there, still so fit good. Still fits down in everything and stuff, yeah. And then yeah, It's like in like four nugs. So it's like, beautiful. They're so beautiful. They're all so perfectly like condensed, but still have that like nice squish to them. Yes, these are some dense babies. Listen, My God. I would say that most times we wouldn't put our like recommendation on celebrity weed just because it's like celebrity weed, but like, man, Seth Rogen really has taken like <laughs> most time and attention to put out some of like the best cannabis we've seen in years. Like it's, it's, it's insane. So true. And they called it Azores High. Like it doesn't get better than that. So this so, is the note I want to end on because I do know it's also a sativa, which is amazing. It's a sativa, amazing. which we love. It is oh, definitely yeah. super florally. I get like strong kind of flower notes in there. Mm -hmm. Little bit of gas, kind of dankiness to it. My oh, I'm so excited. Goodness, okay. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Top strain of 2022. 2022, it's been an awesome year in cannabis. Um, it really feels like every single year we get higher and higher, farther away from high times, like best 1970s strains that just look like they came out of a dustbin. Like this is- Oh my God, yeah. We're living, we are living the dream oh. right here. It tastes mm. like candy. It's so good. Oh, this hasn't been something that we've been smoking throughout the year because it's precious. It's Azores High. It's a special occasion one. So this did just take me back to the first time we smoked it. And like, it's like a floral pineapple candy, which is like, honestly, so yep. perfect for the Azores. Like it really does have just these tropical notes to it. Like a little bit of gas, <laughs> but it's super smooth. It is just such a unique flavor profile. And <coughs> and I love oh. it. And it's named after the place we honeymooned. So like, it does not get better than that in my book. <laughs> it's like smoking an afternoon on your honeymoon. It's what it like, it's, like, it's amazing. It really is a window into just the best feeling. <laughs> it's this hot, I can't even. Well done. <laughs> oh my so. God, and on that note, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy end of the year. Happy 2023. Doing we love well. you guys. Excited for, for next year. We got some big fun things planned, so. Yes. We yes. love it. So, know, so stay tuned, guys, and make sure that you hit that button. <laughs> oh my God. And make sure you so hit high. that button in the corner to subscribe. Do it. And Woo. if you want bonus content from us, join our Patreon club. Hey, right over there. Button in the middle. And of course, more videos from us right now. <laughs> Either of the videos off to the left. Right over there. Hey, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Sending good vibes. Yeah. Just <laughs>